Anita Bagasse, you're watching the City of Harlington's YouTube channel. Today I'm visiting with Sergeant Sal Carmona with the Harlington Police Department. And by the looks of it, you guessed it, school is back in session and there's some things that we need to be reminded of. Good morning. Good morning, Anita. How you doing? I'm good. Thank you, sir. So uh, school is back in session, as I said. There are some things as drivers that we need to be mindful of. We need to slow down. That's the main thing. We need to, the school zones are effective from 6.45 in the morning till 8.30 and from 2.45 in the afternoon till 4.30. Those are the school zones when all the, the zones are at 20 miles an hour because there's kids going to and from school during those hours. Okay, and and of course we've got the, the crosswalks for them to go to and from, right? So we need to be mindful of that as well. Correct. Always use the crosswalks to cross the street. Try not to cross in the middle of the road. You are protected while you're in the crosswalks. Okay. And it's not just about slowing down. Uh, there are other things that, by law, we have to abide. Correct. You cannot use your cell phone while you're in a school zone. Even if you're on the property for the school, the driveway, you still cannot use your cell phone there because there are kids crossing those uh, parking lots. And does that mean handheld or can we do Bluetooth? You may do a Bluetooth if your hand does not have any phone in it at all. Okay. What else, Sarge, do we need to remember in a school zone? We need to remember that there are buses dropping off children in front of those schools or on the side of the school. So if, if those stop signs are out, if the uh, lights are flashing red, do not pass that school bus. Okay. And the goal here is for the kids to make it to and from school safely. That is correct. Their safety is paramount during the school zone hours, and we want to make sure they get in and out of school safely so they can enjoy their education. Very good. Can you remind us about the school buses? Going back to the school buses, it's not just the flashing red lights, but the arm as well. Yes, uh, the stop sign arm comes out. There is an arm that comes in front of the uh, school bus, and that's to prevent a child from not being seen. So whenever the flashing red lights are flashing and the arms, the stop sign comes out, you may not pass that school bus. And in most cases, it's, uh, it's better to assume never to pass a school bus in or around an intersection. Okay, Sarge, and w right before they, they get to that step, their yellow lights start, that's kind of like the warning. So if you're behind them, should we try to pass them and, oh, let's leave that bus behind, or should we already start slowing down and get ready to stop? Slow down and get ready to stop. Just like the old concept, the flashing yellow light or the yellow light for a stop sign is your warning that we need you to stop. It is legal and safer to stop at the yellow. So when the school bus flashes yellow, you know that he's going to stop. So slow down and prepare yourself to be stopped. Very good. Any, any other words of wisdom? Just drive safe. Keep your, your children seat belted in the car. No one under the age of 13 should ride in the front seat of a car because of the airbags. And always lock your doors, look before you leave that car in the back seat for children and or pets. Very good. Thank you so much. My pleasure. And thank you for watching the City of Harlingen's YouTube channel. I'm Irma Garza.